If you have text formatting in your design that you think that you may want to repeat in some way somewhere else within the design, it is a good idea to save the formatting as either a paragraph or a character style. Paragraph styles apply to the entire paragraph. Go to the type menu and at the very bottom, turn on your hidden characters. When you do this, you can see all of the non-printing hidden characters that represent where keystrokes have been made. The end, let me zoom in here, the end of a paragraph is marked by a paragraph symbol. Everything between paragraph symbols will be affected by a paragraph style. So if I wanted to save the red text at the top, everything within the paragraph, whether I highlight it or I leave my cursor in the paragraph, will be affected by the save style. I personally like to highlight, but it really is not necessary. As long as your cursor is blinking somewhere in the paragraph, you can save those settings. To save the settings, either have your cursor blinking or highlight your paragraph. Go to the Paragraph Styles panel, which you can open via the Window menu, Styles, and then Paragraph Styles. Create a new style using the Create New Style button in the bottom right hand corner of the panel. As soon as you create a new style, Paragraph Style 1, or if you already have a Paragraph Style 1, Paragraph Style 2 will appear. Immediately double click it, because even though we've created the new style that's linked to this red text, your text, which is currently highlighted, is linked to the basic paragraph, the generic style that's there by default. So double click paragraph style one. This does two things. Immediately, it syncs your highlighted text to the style that you've saved, and it launches the paragraph style options dialog where you can give your style a name. This is the headline uh, formatting for my article, so I am going to call this headline. If you have multiple headline variations, you might want to call it red headline or something descriptive that you'll remember. Now it's saved on the paragraph styles panel. I also am using very distinct formatting for the paragraphs, which is called body copy or body text in my design. To save these settings, you need to have your cursor blinking in a paragraph or highlight a paragraph, or I could even highlight all of the paragraphs, but your cursor has to be blinking or you'll have to have text highlighted with those settings. Come back to the Paragraph Styles panel, hit the Create New Style button in the bottom right hand corner, immediately double click that new style. It syncs your paragraph to the style and launches the Paragraph Style Options dialog where you can give your style a name and select OK. And now those settings are saved so that you can link them to other areas of your text in the future.